Fear of needles is common. It affects people of any age, children, adults, older adults, males, females, any educational background. I remember when I was a child, I was terrified of needles. Even going to the doctor's office was scary because it reminded me of the injections. But nowadays, there are so many strategies that scientists have developed and tested. Strategies that can be used to decrease pain and anxiety around needles. First, I'll show you six strategies to make vaccinations more comfortable for babies and children. And then, I'll talk about six strategies for adults and then some recommendations for individuals with high level of needle fear. So let's talk about needle pain today. Pain during vaccination is an important concern across all age groups. Not everybody is afraid of needle pain, I know that, but I'll be very happy if this video can help those who are afraid of taking a vaccine because of the possibility of discomfort during the shot. There are various strategies that are evidence-based to decrease the discomfort of vaccination pain. This video was done in collaboration with the Solutions for Kids in Pain, SKIP, a Canadian knowledge mobilization network. Since undertreated and preventable pain can lead to avoiding necessary health care, including vaccinations, in the future, SKIP is on a mission to improve children's pain management by mobilizing evidence-based solutions through a coordination and collaboration. Visit their website here, www.kidsinpain.ca. Let's start by learning how we can make vaccinations more comfortable for babies and children. Number one, you can apply a numbing cream to the skin to dull the pain from the needle. These are usually available at your local pharmacy. You may apply 30 to 60 minutes earlier. Avoid using a patch as it hurts when taking off, like removing a bandage. Talk to your pharmacist about how to obtain these creams. They usually do not need a doctor's prescription. Number two, if it is allowed, ask the child to blow bubbles to distract them. While they are doing this, there is also deep breathing that helps them to reduce the pain. Number three, for babies, breastfeed right before or during the needle, preferably during. If that's not possible, you may offer sucrose water before the needle. Number four, use a comfort position for the child. It is best to sit upright with the child on the parent's lap and be held with a hug, either facing the parent or the other side. Avoid lying down because it creates a sense of loss of control. Fifth, remember distraction. Watching a video on your phone or listening to the music is excellent. And six, don't say it will be okay or it will be over soon. Instead, give them options and distract them with conversations. You may ask, what do you want to eat tonight? What do you want to do after this? Where do you want to go? What do you want to play? So to keep them distracted and thinking about what's going to happen when the needle finishes. Parents usually avoid telling their children that they are going to go for vaccinations and only tell them in the last minute. This only makes them feel more anxious and increase the distrust in the parents and also in the doctors. After the poke, talk to your child about what went well. This will help them to get ready for the next time. Plan something fun to do afterwards. And if your child or you are so afraid of needles that you try to avoid them at all costs, you may benefit from a psychological therapy called exposure-based therapy delivered by, by a trained mental health professional. You may ask your healthcare provider where to find this kind of therapy in your area. Now, let's talk about how to make vaccinations more comfortable for adults. First, if you're afraid of needles, you may ask questions so you know exactly what will happen. Think ahead about strategies that you use to manage your fear and pain. Second, you may apply a numbing cream to the skin to dull the pain from the needle. These are usually available at your local pharmacy. You may apply 30 to 60 minutes before the needle. Number three, 
Ensure that you are seated in a comfortable position. Number four, take deep breaths and relax your arm. Number five, distract yourself. Maybe watching a video on your phone or telling a story of what happened to you on the last vacation that you went on. Number six, if you have a history of feeling dizzy or fainting, use a muscle tension technique. For example, squeeze your legs together or if possible, ask to take the vaccine lying down. This is how you do the muscle tension technique. You sit or lie down and tighten your arms, legs and stomach muscles for about 15 seconds until your cheeks feel flush. Then release the tension for 20 to 30 seconds without fully relaxing and before tensing again and repeating until the needle is over or you stop feeling faint. Last, I'd like to give you some strategies for individuals with high levels of needle fear. Although many people are reluctant to admit it, needle fears are very common in adults. Approximately 1 in 10 have a high level of needle fear. People with needle fears frequently avoid healthcare, including vaccinations. Even when everything is done to make needles as comfortable as possible, those with high level of needle fear may still refuse or avoid vaccinations. And avoidance makes fear worse. That's why exposure-based therapy is a treatment that helps people confront their fears in a supportive way. Sometimes it only takes one session for significant improvement. Exposure-based therapy can be conducted either in person through a computer-based techniques or using their own imagination. While some people are able to confront their fears on their own, talk to your family doctor or you can find a psychologist that will help you with exposure-based therapy. I am a living proof that these strategies work. For over 20 years now, I've been practicing these strategies myself and they work. At the end, I will show you a video of me receiving a COVID-19 vaccine a few weeks ago and you will see I had no anxiety, no fears of needles. I know that being less fearful of needles myself made it also easier on my children to get their own needles. Our children sense when we are calm and they learn from us how to cope with the stressful situations in life. Let's remember that it doesn't have to hurt and vaccines work. Don't forget that this video is for educational purposes only. If you have a condition that needs medical advice, please talk to your doctor. And if there is an emergency, go to the nearest emergency department. <laughs> Excellent, thank you so much. Alrighty. Press the share button below to send this video to anyone with fear of needles or needle pain. In the comments below, please write down if you tried some of these strategies. If you like this video, give a thumbs up here, turn on the notifications and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching. Bye!